Hey guys, Levi from All3D Design here. I want to do a tutorial uh, in TerraGen 3 uh, regarding real world height maps. I just want to show you how to like, how you can get the height map information, uh, what website you can go to, and I'm gonna just going to take you through the process, and I'm going to download it, and I'm going to import it in, and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, looks pretty fantastic, I think, um, and it's really easy to do you know, in TerraGen 3. So. Let's get to it. I'm open up Google Chrome. I already have it pulled up. And when you bring this up, this website, it's the uh, viewernationalmap.gov. Um, I will put the link in the description um, so you can click through to it. <clears throat> but once you come here, you just find navigate to place you. You just I have it set to current extent. Um, and then uh, what you do is you go through here to your data sets and you click. Find products. Um, before you do that, you want to make sure that it's set to a third arc second DEM and a grid float type here. Um, and I usually keep it um, in Terrigen 3. My computer doesn't have the best CPU, so I keep it at 10 kilometers. Um, a lot of people say you don't want to go over 60 um, because well, that's just a, a huge download file and it's a, it's a massive file size. It might take a long time to load. It might crash programs, and the, it just might not be optimal for game engines and other things because it's just too big. So, yeah. So find your uh, find your spot. Um, you can draw a box point, whatever you want here. There's different options. I use the current extent. Remember, that's this window. You click Find Products, and it'll bring up your elevation products. Um, you're gonna wanna hit this results here it'll show you and if you click thumbnail it'll show you exactly the area that has been mapped out that you can download see so there's like certain spots on the map that have been recorded I guess you could say yeah by the satellites and their specific sizes so you have to download those you can't just like pick this little area and expect to just get that it's not how it's going to work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick one here. Okay, so it looks like this one's really a good option. So I'll hit download. And it's going to download as a zip. I have a folder for DMs. This is another interior Oregon. As you can see, I already downloaded one from a different area. And that's going to take a little while to download, so I'm going to stop this video and I'll come back when it's done. All right, guys, cool. Well, uh, that's done downloading. So what you're gonna want to do now is unzip it, go to the folder, re-downloaded it, locate it, um, <clears throat> and then just open her up. And uh, it always says that. <laughs> and as you can see, I've already extracted the necessary folders for for this one that I was telling you about that I downloaded before, and we just need these two. We need this FLT file and this HDR file. So let me just extract these two to this directory. TerraSculptor, DMs. Hold on, I'm just going to create a new new folder in here real quick. Data for data for Oregon two. Well, let's extract those there, so we don't run into any more of those issues.
Okie doker. Alright, now that we got that, we're going to want to open up Terrigen 3. I actually already have mine open. So what I'm going to do is just start a new project real quick. <laughs> my, my computer's being slow. Let's see if I can just close it here. What I was doing before was really intensive. I had a lot of trees. I'll show you the screenshot at the end of what that looked like, because I did get a render up. <clears throat> Although I wasn't quite finished, I, I still had to add some more trees and different rocks and cave formations and things that I was planning on adding. The world, uh, it, it's actually the world for um, a book that I'm writing uh, called Tale of Zrela. You can find it on my blog on my Facebook, you send me your friend request. <clears throat> okay, so see it starts out with a fractal terrain. I'm just gonna delete that. Go to add terrain. Height field, load, DEM. Bring that up. We're gonna go back to that folder. And we're going to load the FLT file, not the HDR file. That's just there, like an OBJ with an MTL file, you know, it uses as a reference. So you don't load this directly. You just load this one. And what you're going to notice is you're not going to see anything here directly initially. So that kind of confuses some people. It confuses me at first. But what you got to do is got to click on here. And oh, we got to open this up. I have to click on this and see georeference. Bam, now you can see it populates. Cool, cool. So let's just zoom out here and see what we got. Why don't we do a quick render on this, shall we? It's just going to have a basic material on it. So what you want, what you want to do a Terrigen 3, if you're not familiar, you got to click this button down here in the corner, which snaps the camera, the render camera, to your current view in your viewport. So you can render this. <clears throat> so you go to view, render, and you can't just click that. I've done that multiple times, and it doesn't do anything, and then you got to actually click render. And that's going to take a little bit. We'll just chill for a second while it loads in here. I haven't messed with any of the atmospheric settings, like changing the time of day or <clears throat> anything like that. This is just default. I already noticed a little bit of clipping out here, but that's not really going to matter. So you're not going to be building a scene out there, I wouldn't think. But yeah, you can notice all of the beautiful, beautiful just erosion and everything else that's picked up from that satellite data and the valleys. And this is going to be just awesome to, to, uh, build within a, a height map of this quality is just that easy it's just amazing to me <clears throat> but of course from here you can go on and add fractal uh fractal landscape effects and 
little rocks and, and things of that nature that really spice everything up and make it all the beautiful scene that you're looking for. But that's a whole nother series of tutorials that I would have to go through, which if you want me to do more tutorials, go ahead and put down in the description uh, a request and I'll try to do it for you. Um, if it's at all within my ability. I mean, I know quite a bit. I use Unreal Engine a lot and a lot of various 3D modeling programs. So I'm pretty knowledgeable. If you got a question, go ahead and pop it down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. <clears throat> all right. I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.